Welcome to How to Use Fortnite Explosives, presented by Fortnite Master. Explosives have become a significant part of the current meta in Fortnite because they're so effective at pressuring enemies, taking down big structures, and countering players that are turtling in one by ones. All explosives are good at sieging enemy bases and being able to pressure enemies who would otherwise be safe, putting pressure on enemies and forcing them to react or reposition, taking down bases quickly and from long range, and countering players that turtle. It is important to note that you can only carry 12 rocket ammo with you at any given time. What's nice about using clingers compared to other explosives is that you know exactly where they're going to land when you throw them. The aiming reticle makes it easy to aim and use them. Clingers stick to whatever they hit and are a guaranteed kill on no shield targets. Simply throwing clingers at an enemy's building can put enough pressure to force them to reposition. A useful tactic for dealing with people who turtle is to throw clingers onto the ceiling of a person's one by one and shoot through the roof, causing the clingers to fall into the base and kill them. After you pressure your enemies with clingers, try using that opportunity to take high ground or at least build up for a slightly higher angle. If you are playing with teammates, try to have them push while you put pressure with clingers or vice versa. C4 does huge damage to enemy structures, instantly destroying any structure and its explosion radius. However, C4 only does 70 damage to enemies. Combined with their low range, they are more effective at destroying structures. A useful tactic with C4 is to shut down enemy pushes by blowing up their ramps. Simply throw the C4 at an enemy building towards you, duck under cover, and send their ramps to kingdom come. Another strategy with C4 is to use two charges on a turtling target, one destroying their structure, guaranteeing that the second charge damages them. You can rinse and repeat with additional charges, as long as it's a multiple of two. Understanding the perfect distance to shoot grenade launchers is the key to success with this weapon. You'll know the distance is right if you shoot the grenade and it explodes right on top of the enemy base without bouncing once. A really good way to use a grenade launcher is to ricochet your grenade off forward facing ramps at different angles. Depending on the angle your grenade hits the ramp at, the grenade will fly either closer or farther, helping you control your angle and direct your grenade where you want it. The grenade launcher wrecks absolute havoc on enemy bases, trying to shoot grenades at your enemy on and off while pushing towards them from a distance. If the grenades are aimed well, this will put a lot of pressure on the enemy, making it hard for them to shoot you while you're pushing and vulnerable. Doing this will also give you the opportunity to build up and take high ground over them. Rocket launchers are the easiest explosive to aim and has huge AoE upon impact, making them extremely good at destroying enemy bases and causing them to fall. Rockets are a great tool for stopping someone that is trying to take the high ground, whether from far away or while in the middle of a build battle. One rocket is usually enough to knock an enemy down, whether a couple of floors or all the way to the ground, and make them rethink their plan. One rocket is enough to put a gaping hole in an enemy structure. Since rockets travel slowly, a useful strategy when shooting at someone far away is to shoot a rocket at their base and start shooting at the wall you fired the rocket at. If timed correctly, the wall should break as the rocket arrives, causing the enemy to take damage from a huge explosion. Another strategy with a rocket launcher is to aim at the floor beneath your enemy. The large splash will cause them to take huge amounts of damage. Be careful that you don't hurt yourself by doing this though, as you can kill yourself by accident. Lastly, you can rocket ride a teammate to help them travel somewhere quickly. This is a little bit difficult to do though, and can cause you to take a lot of unnecessary damage if you're not able to work with the timing. Once a player shoots the guided missile, they are left vulnerable until the missile explodes, so it's smart to build cover before shooting it. Ideally, players would build themselves in full cover and edit a window or a small gap to shoot the missile. The guided missile is the most useful for scouting areas from a safe position. It gives a great aerial view of your surroundings. The guided missile is much easier and safer to use for rocket riding. You can even rocket ride yourself.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, make sure to share with your friends. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.